As a retina specialist, I've always had a passion for bringing innovation to the retina field. I never thought I'd see gene therapy in my career, and this is what drove me to Spark Therapeutics and kindled my interest in biotech innovation and commercialization. I'm an employee of Spark Therapeutics, which sponsored the phase three clinical trial program I'm gonna to discuss today. You can find details on this forward-looking statement online. <clears throat> Spark Therapeutics is an integrated gene therapy platform company with investigational assets in retinal-directed gene therapies, liver-directed gene therapies, and CNS-directed gene therapies. It has the first and only commercial manufacturing facility for AAV gene therapy in the United States. Today, I'm gonna to discuss the three key goals of turning genes into medicines, all in six and a half minutes. And these include optimization, long-term efficacy and safety, and patient access, because patient access is problematic with one-time potential therapies. In particular, gene therapy to augment or to replace a missing or defective gene can be optimized to maximize protein expression, which can in turn potentially support long-term efficacy and safety, which can in turn support patient access programs. Again, problematic with potential one-time treatments. First, with regard to optimization, potential gene therapies, even with the same capsid and same transgene, can differ. For example, with regard to the expression cassette, regulatory elements such as promoters and enhancers and codons can differ and be optimized to maximize protein expression. Sparks gene therapies are produced by triple transfection on a mammalian cell line, which naturally produces both empty and full capsids. These are separated, and the ratios can vary depending on the indication. So for example, in subretinal indications, the empties are removed because cell surface receptors may be limiting, and empty capsids would decrease transduction efficiency. In contrast, in intravenous applications, the empties are left because the empties can function as decoys for any pre-existing antibodies against capsid antigens, thereby blunting any potential immune response. In addition, surfactant is added to the formulation. Surfactant decreases the loss of the gene therapy to, de to delivery device surfaces. One study has shown that up to 75% of the gene therapy was not lost because surfactant was added. Next, I'm gonna show an example of long-term efficacy and safety with a response sustained to three years to date. Many of you are familiar with the Luxterna phase three clinical trial program for bioallelic RPE65 mutation-associated retinal dystrophy. Patients were randomized in a two-to-one fashion to intervention versus control, and then at one year, the controls were crossed over to intervention. The primary endpoint was functional vision as assessed by multi-luminance mobility testing. This is a real-world test of navigation ability conducted under seven real-world standard lighting conditions. So for example, 400 lux simulates an office environment lighting conditions, whereas one lux simulates the lighting conditions in a moonless summer night, and 50 lux simulates the lighting conditions in an outdoor train station at night. The median MLMT improvement was two, and that was maintained for up to three years so far in the original intervention group, and two years so far in the control intervention group. Next, I'm gonna show you a representative two-level improvement in one of these patients. The video is gonna run concurrently, and you'll see on the right is the patient after one year versus on the left, the baseline. They both run at the same <coughs> light intensity, which is one lux, moonless summer night. And you'll see on the right, the one year, he navigates this quite well, avoiding any obstacles, and he reaches the end, which is a door now. Whereas on the left, the baseline where he fails, he deviates quite often. He has to be redirected you'll see that he bumps into obstacles. Each time he does this, he's assigned a time penalty. In essence, you can see that he's feeling his way almost with his feet, if you will. 
In the interest of time, I'm going to move on to the next sequence. This shows the same one-year passing video at one lux on the left compared to the three-year video at one lux. And you'll see that the treatment benefit is sustained. Again, you'll see that they run concurrently. And again, you'll see that the patient navigates the multi-luminous mobility test well without any apparent errors. On the right, at three years, he's about to finish reaching the door and doorknob now. And stop. And on the left, now. The most common ocular adverse events were ocular hypertension, cataract, retinal tears, and retinal deposits. One patient experienced an ocular serious adverse event consisting of loss of foveal function, deemed by the investigator to be related to the administration procedure, and there were no deleterious immune responses. Long-term efficacy and safety, as I mentioned previously, can support new models for patient access because patient access is problematic for potential one-time therapies. In particular, health systems currently recognize value through chronic dosing. Think of all the uh, anti-VEGF we've been discussing today, that all those monthly dosings add up. And cost-effectiveness assessment, which is done all the time by payers assessing new therapies, are biased against one-time therapies. In particular, future benefits are disproportionately discounted versus current costs. Consequently, new models are needed to ensure patient access, and these are currently being discussed. These are based on potentially long-term durability. And the ones being discussed right now are rebate programs as well as installment programs. So in summary, the future for gene therapy in retina and beyond is, is bright. We've learned a lot about the three goals for gene therapy, including optimization, long-term efficacy and safety, as well as patient access. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.